Hey guys, Kendrick here, and we're back for another Red vs. Blue reaction video, and as you can see, I'm uh, wearing glasses now. Um, these actually do kind of help me uh, see better. Like, I don't need them when I'm, like, out on the street or anything, like, but with stuff like, you know, uh, TV or reading or anything else, like, uh, th these help so much, and I've been using them for the last uh, week now. I've been getting really adjusted to them if you've been watching all my streams, uh, but yeah. Uh, we're gonna get into this. I don't know why I'm talking about the glasses now, but then again, I probably won't be wearing them in the review, or maybe I will. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, this is episode seven, I think. Episode seven, recovery. Is it seven or eight? Seven or eight. I don't know. It's it's one of those two. But anyway, we're gonna get into this in three, two, and one. Wash, Carolina. My cat, Loki. No, had him back when I was a kid. Loki was always getting into trouble. One time, he got stuck up in a tree in our backyard. My mom's about to call the fire department when Dad stops her. He says he'll handle it, so he sends her inside and gets out his chainsaw. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dad was never much of a cat person, so he starts to cut the tree down, but it falls the wrong way right into the power line. Oh, no. Yeah, poor Loki was electrocuted. Falls 30 feet out of this tree. Lands on his feet, walks away like nothing happened. <laughs> this other time, we found Loki in the dryer after my ma had finished a load of laundry. Another time, we find him in the engine of Dad's truck. You get the idea. Cat lived to be 25 years old. Nine lives, you know. Sounds like your spirit animal. <laughs> Yeah, Wash just doesn't die. You were right about the fresh air. Dr. Gray tell you about this place? There's a training course nearby. It's where I like to keep in shape. Show me. Ah, uh, I haven't seen one of these since basic. You want to race? Come on, Wash. You're on the mend. You are not in any condition to compete. Oh, come on, come on. I'm fine. Carolina. I want to see Trust it. Me. You're just scared you'll lose one of these days. Oh! You didn't stand a chance before. Before you got old. <gasps> oh, the trash talk! Yeah, wash! Oh yeah, there we go. If you're gonna give me a head start, you'll regret it. Oh! Be the bearer of bad news, wash. Today is not the day that you feed me. That's cheating. Yeah. Oh! Ah. He using sun tactics. Whoa, what? <laughs> ah! Oh. You okay there? What happened? Your bar snapped. You took a tumble. Why does it sound I muffled? Know that. The hell are we even doing out here? I'm not in any condition to race, Carolina. I know. Next time you're feeling competitive, find someone else to challenge. You can't rush me like this. Wash. Whatever. Let's head back. Physically speaking, Agent Lawrence's recovery has been remarkable. I'm not concerned about his body. He's still suffering from these lapses. Hmm, not uncommon for someone with an injury like his. How frequent are the episodes? Hard to say. He... You know, if this isn't a good time, I can always come back. Nonsense! <laughs> it's just an autopsy. I didn't figure you for the squeamish type. Please. Continue. Wash is perfectly normal one minute, then seemingly at random he, you know, there has to be something else we can try. Hold this, please. See, the brain is an organ. Like any other part of the body, it will repair itself to a point. What that point is, only time will tell. Wait and see. That's not very comforting. <laughs> really? As it happens, I'm not especially known for my bedside manner. You, on the other hand, have made a wonderful nurse. Agent Washington is a lucky man. No. A lucky man would have had a better partner. Someone keeping an eye on him. Bowie. He's a soldier. He shoots, he gets shot. That's the whole design. You can set that down anywhere. I take it you still haven't told him. Not yet. I believe it will slow the recovery. For my patients, I prefer to lay everything out on the table. I Wait, what? That. 
Washington was the strongest freelancer. Spiritually, every time he was hurt, he would just bounce right back up. If we tell him he's a broken man, it's better this way, I think. Oh, I don't know. Quite the paradox you found yourself in. I'm not envious. Thanks. Dare I ask, have you heard any word from our wayward sheep? I'm sure the reds and blues can handle themselves. Wherever they are. It's way better than the last one. Shut up. Go away. Leave me alone. Have you thought about what I said about our team up? Never gonna happen, Sparkplug. You were one of the people <laughs> things that destroyed pizza. So congratulations, you've invented something worse than Nazis. Not true. That must have been you or your friends. Why would I mess with gross food? I'm made of light. And that's the other thing. I'm not working with a talking lens flare. It's stupid. <laughs> really stupid. I'm not a lens flare. I'm a sentient light beam. It's not that weird heck. You're the one made of blood and bones and meat. Please stop talking about food. I understand that you may have trust issues after your friend stabbed you in the back. Not my friend. It wasn't his fault, though. And how exactly is that? Well, to understand what really happened to Doc, I have to tell the story of the beginning of time. The oldest myths of my species tell of a great war. Griff doesn't even care. He's probably hey, falling asleep. It. I am not sitting through fucking exposition. I'll tell you what I saw. At night, when you were sleeping, Doc would become someone else. He would transform into this other Doc with a weird voice and cheesy laugh. O'Malley? My species myths always warned that time travel warps weaker minds, drawing them in. The oh, that's what's triggering the O'Malley transformation. If you get into it too deeply, you become a Shizno, an agent of Krovos. If you knew Doc was breaking bad, why the hell did you let me give him the time machine? I couldn't say anything. It's against the rules. I'm going to be in boatloads of trouble for talking to you now, but you and me got to work together to get back to the present. Still not happening. But Griff, more of your friends may be corrupted by Krovos. If I had a time machine, I'd use it to go back to the beginning of this conversation. The part where I said, shut up, go away, leave me alone. We can't spend the rest of our lives in ancient Italy. Shut up, go away, leave me alone. I know where your sister is, here on Earth. In this time period. Shut up. Go away. Leave me alone. I'm made of light. Bullets can't hurt me, dum dum. Fuck off, Sparky. Leave me alone before I find a black hole and shove your ass inside. Hi, Carolina. Wow. It's Dylan. Oh, Please more Carolina. Back when you get this. Thanks. I'm very, so again, this I'm is very invested. About a story. Something else. Uh, <laughs> really important. I found the reds and blues. Call me back, please. Still in here. Call me. Who need to get this? Call me. I think I might be losing my mind. Call me, call me, call me. Carolina, finally. Hi, Dylan. Hey, What's Dylan. What's going on? You found the guys? You could say that. Hold on. I'm going to send you something. You might want to sit down. That's, uh, interesting. Did you find this what on the? the internet? The Guggenheim, actually. This painting is apparently 2,000 years old. Bullshit. It's been carbon dated. It's real. And apparently Tucker isn't alone. This one's Mayan. Lopez? And this is Egyptian. The inscription is 5,000 years old. Caboose? Oh, no. I've been sitting around thinking, Dylan Andrews, you've lost your damn mind. And then I thought, Luca built a time machine. I saw it work. Right after that, the reds and blues went missing, and now they're showing up in history books. Carolina. Please don't say it. I think the reds and blues don't. are lost in time. Ugh. Is wash around? Understatement of a lifetime. I was worried when they didn't show up on chorus, obviously. But it's not unlike them to get lost. Just, oh God, not this kind of lost. Normally, when confronted with something I don't understand, I consult the experts, scientists. But time travel isn't a science. I checked and proceeded to get laughed out of the building. But I do know one person who might help. Seems to know more about time travel than anyone living. Problem is, he's on location. You'll have to go in person. Me. For the sake of my career and sanity, I'm sitting this one out. Any chance it'll fix itself? The reds and blues might get unlost in time, right? Possibly, but that's leaving an awful lot to chance. I mean, caboose with a time machine. I'll hop on the next ship out. <laughs> you should be more worried about Sarge with the time this machine. Is really here. Yeah, she's in a place called England. I found her while I was scouting around. And she's alone. Is she 
she in trouble? Uh, not exactly. She came with your friend Tucker. Tucker too, huh? And you, they got one of these time guns? Uh-huh. I can get us there. You changed your mind. If we work together, and I mean if, it's just to get to my friends, okay? Okay. Just to be clear, I'm not doing this to help you. I'm doing this because I don't want to spend the rest of my life without seeing a flushing toilet. Too much information. I've also got some demands. Number one, no more exposition. I don't want to hear about your gods or your titans or your wars or your quests or anything. Got it. I can keep a lid on it. Honestly, I've been oversharing as it is. I have a problem with keeping secrets. Number two, no talking in general. I'd give you a thumbs up, but I ain't got no thumbs. Which brings me to number three. Can you put yourself on a dimmer or something? Dunzo. If you're finished, I have a demand of my own. What's that? Please don't joke about black holes. A black hole killed my parents. They are very scared. Deal. Whoa. To England. <sighs> it's not far, is it? Italy to England? It's a hop, skip, and a jump. We'll be there in no time. Once, I had a top-secret mission from the gods and traveled from the core planets to the outer rim and back again in a few seconds. <laughs> that was a trip. You just broke all three rules, Huggins. Right. Technically, we hadn't started yet. <sighs> Ooh, yes! Hoggins! <laughs> Sorry. Carolina, what brings you to my neck of the woods? Looking for you. Tried calling. I've been out walking. It's awful late. Couldn't sleep. What's up? So, I have some news about our multicolored friends. They're in trouble and need our help. Thank God, I was starting to get bored. When do we lift off? I was going to hop on the next transport out. Dr. Gray said she'd keep you company while I'm gone. It should only be a few days. Hey, if the gang's in trouble, I'm coming. You're on the mend, Wash. I'm fine. More than anything, I need something to focus on. A problem to solve. All this sitting around is making me feel fuzzy-brained. We're just going to talk to Dylan's expert. Nothing serious. Sounds fun. Trust me, I'm fine. I know myself. I take a hit, I bounce back. I know you do. It reminds me. I ever tell you about my cat, Loki? Oh, nope. no. I had him back when I was a kid. He was our family pet. Oh, why you gotta do this to wash? Oh, man. Dude, that like kills me inside. And I'm not gonna lie, that 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 hurts. That 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 hurts. All right. Let me know what you guys thought of the episode in the comment section down below. I've been Kendrick's Voice. People have an awesome day. Peace out. Hit like button, smash the subscribe button. And I'll catch y'all next time.